subscribe the channel if you want my videos in your mail please hit the bell icon hi viewers you are welcome to meet business english channel Hi everyone, you are welcome back to Meet Business English channel. As a functional consultant, it is mandatory to know or to draw the business flows. So today, uh, here I am going to show you how to use the Visio, MS Visio. So how can you draw the uh, Visio diagrams? So it's a, it's a uh, high level kind of uh, video I am making here. So in case if you need any more detail on this, you can comment that uh, in the comment section. And please, please subscribe the channel, share the videos, and uh, hit the like button if you really like. So without further delay, let's getting into the application. So you can go to the my computer, and you can see the MS Office or MS Visio. Yeah, you can see. Visio 2016. You can click on this. Else you can search here as Visio. Else you can simply Windows R Visio. You can see it will open the Visio application. Well, when you installing a Microsoft Office, uh, it will ask you to select uh, what are all the uh, list of you know softwares you want to install like uh, MS Office. Uh, like uh, powerpoint uh, word uh, all this uh, like uh, likewise you will find uh, this as well so if you tick that checkbox you will get uh, with your software or it will get installed in your machine see it will select it will uh, allow you to draw different types of diagrams you can see huge number of diagrams it will support it will really help you uh, from your college to uh, in your any high level you know uh, uh, business you want to draw any diagrams it really helps you and here I am going to show you uh, the cross-functional flowchart or else I can go to the streamline also that will be yeah I will go to cross-functional flowchart <coughs> see here you have multiple ways you can select uh, you can go uh, this way uh, like uh, uh, without any color code combination or if you want to have any color combinations you can go with this you can click on this and you can say create so it will open that over here <coughs> so here you get you have a lot of uh, you know uh, shapes so you can find a lot of shapes how you want to you know uh, what are all shapes you want to use in your uh, diagram so you can select all those for me uh, my basic flowchart shapes and my cross functional flowcharts shapes are more than enough uh, to uh, do my job or uh, my day regular job so i am selecting those two and i am giving uh, this video on them uh, let me show you one case like a back to back uh, sales order so in back to back sales order uh, case i am going to draw here so if you want to give any title you can type uh, you double click here and you can write it down okay uh, if back to back to back sales order scenario so this is the scenario oh, in back to back sales order scenario we have supplier we have customers and we have sales organization we may have different uh, for uh, inventory where uh, uh, inventory organization and we may have different uh, in team finance team so there are five different streamlines so we want to see so let me click here and you can say this is uh, our sales organization our sales department keep like that sales department how many people has been involved during this process so let me put uh, he is my customer or else I can put my sales department here and uh, my customer here then I will say my 
supplier then I'll say I'm going to add one more streamline here and keep that here so this guy is like uh, my warehouse department or, uh, or inventory controller let's suppose our inventory uh, store store head let's suppose just like that I'm taking store department let's suppose store department and I'm going to use one more department which is finance department So let's uh, you know take the case where uh, we start our scenario. So I'm going to delete all this. So our case start with customer placing the demand. So start and what is the next process? If you want any more process, you can select. So here process. Okay. Place the order for material just like that. just type like that so it is started from here so you can give link this since it is already there if you want exactly match you can adjust this it will really match it. adjust okay after placing order so you are placing the customer is placing an order for material so now sales department going to create a sales order okay. create SO SO means here sales order alright so I need to link here to here you can see the connector here you can link so after this you need to click on pointer tool again otherwise it will keep disturbing you ok so next you have successfully created the sales order now you need to cross check the stock ok yes so quantity is greater than or equal to available stock yes so OHU is equal to greater than available stock in case if stock is whatever sales order stock uh, requested stock or demand is more than what we have we are cross checking ok you can adjust this accordingly your wish how you want to see that ok alright if stock is uh, more than if stock is available then uh, do a pick release and confirm that means you are shipping successfully material to your customer location ok this when s stock is greater than or equal to available quantity no in case of your s quantity is more than what you have in your stock what you can do you need to place a PO ok so after placing PO what you need to do you need to receive the material receive stock into your warehouse after receiving what is the next step you need to ship the material to your 
customer location okay so same step okay all right up to here we are dealing with ordering etc now what finance department will do finance department when stock successfully receive so your supplier will send a invoice so here the purchase placed automatically or it will be manually also okay so here link should be link should be here to here okay receive ego deliver stock to customer location or your location all right now after material has been received what my supplier do is he will send the invoice or share the invoice so once the stock has been received successfully he is going to send a invoice to my finance department okay receive invoice after receiving what i need to do i need to make a payment to the payment okay here like reconciliation that means so like check process etc it is there it will get done there okay this is completed the p2p cycle now let us we successfully ship the material so from here we have shipped the material receive the stock pick release and confirm so we're going to say that we're going to say that the material has been received by our customer and link here okay receive stock okay next after the receiving stock our finance department write the invoice against so you can give the connector from when stock is been received <coughs> so you are going to make an invoice when stock has been received so and stock is received i'm going to raise and share the invoice with your customer so raise the invoice sorry it should be link from either way so let me make the receive okay raise the invoice after raising the invoice you will create a payment create receipt receipt or receipt invoice or receipt payment just a payment so since you are going to raise the invoice and thus you are he will receive the invoice he will receive the invoice
voice now after uh, sorry this should be payment correctly so since uh, pay the amount he is going to create so he will raise the invoice the raise the invoice will go to when you receive stock uh, customer receives stock you will receive the invoice also after receiving the invoice so we will do the payment the payment also going to link here okay so next once create payment has been done you can say it has been stop or stop then you can say reconciliation or stop this is the cycle how you know you can record let me say project always like the pointer table otherwise it will be like behave like stop okay now you can link go to connector you can say payment i have received my money say payment done so that's all about this how you effectively you can use the visio diagram if you want you can put that into your word document so since so you make lot of dog diagrams you can link them see you can see uh, this uh, it's just unnecessarily it has been recorded yeah you can see uh, you can zoom it you can if it will be give a clear view you uh, know in a better shape you can zoom more if you want see it won't uh, pitch a lot you can see this you know, it's a beautiful image if you want to uh, you know uh, create or uh, if you want to uh, change any edit from here directly you can double click it it will open the visual diagram there itself you can make the changes or else if you want to save this in any other format you, you can go to go ahead and save this in a required format so you can go and save so it will get saved into a visual format let's okay, suppose this pc i am going to add somewhere in documents okay and documents see bsdx format it is saving if you want to you know save any other format like jpg or any other image go to save as to select documents you can go ahead and select the list of see you have a lot of formats are there jpeg let's suppose save it it will get saved into jpeg see what is how you want it okay background color is there any background color you want or any rgb color how you want it okay screen how much you know you want pixel size screen printer or source size how you want source okay click on okay and go ahead and just check the, the image you you can you know create uh, your flow charts just like this way so uh, i'm just giving in a high uh, overview see here my image is ready I'm drawing one let me open in jpeg format time to you know open an image format let me open in a paint or some other format so my machine seems so slow play open with this our paint yeah you can see your jpg image you can save it anywhere so thank you for watching this video please subscribe the channel and share the videos with your friends and family members thank you so much